Hey there, Ryan Kingsline here, the founder of Visualarium, with a really important announcement. Now, this summer, this end of year, sorry, is going to be just an amazing time. We have a whole bunch of stuff lined up, and I want to go one by one through everything that we're offering. All right, first, keep in mind the main mission of Visualarium is to find really high level artists artists at the top of their game and help distill what makes them successful the philosophy the tools the process distill that into a training program that you can learn from okay remember that's the top goal so the first one on the list i want to i want to bring to your attention is sabin howard this is a guy who spent uh, over 40,000 hours Four zero comma zero zero zero. If you're in the U.S., that's an amazing amount of time in front of a live model studying how the form turns. Okay, how uh, all the hills and valleys of the human body come together. This is going to be an amazing class, and it's a unique class. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to learn from somebody who is more thoroughly steeped in the human figure than many of us can lay claim to all right and then he's also and this is part of that whole going that whole um just connection to the history part that's so important to me with visualarium but he is a direct line all the way back to Phaedius, 2500 years ago to when greek sculpture became Greek sculpture, when it moved out of the Egyptian model, the Byzantine model, and moved into what we know as Greek sculpture today. Okay, Sabin Howard is one of those people who understands it, knows how the Greeks thought about form, Arch of Apollo, the Column of the Rib Cage, and he's going to be training you in how that works, okay? And that's what Dynamic Figure is all about. Now, next one, and this one's really awesome, okay, and it's a real challenge for me, Jordu Shell. Jordu, the legendary Jordu Shell, okay, just amazing sculptor, worked on Avatar, worked on a whole bunch of different stuff. Okay, he's going to be showing you how to design creatures in Super Sculpey, basically in clay. Design them, bake them, texture paint them. My job is to show you or translate that for ZBrush, for the digital sculptors. So it's a double whammy. It's clay, it's ZBrush. And it's all about how you sculpt, what's the process, philosophy, the approach to your work. And then how do you translate that into the digital world so that you can be working in film or games or, or something like that, all right? Now we also have another one, Karen Cope. That's gonna be fantastic. And that's an old school process. Okay, Karen documents the Florence Academy method of drawing in space. And drawing in space is really an important tool. So make sure you check out the previews when those are out and really get a sense of what that class is all about. Another one, and this one, le a living legend, okay, Chris Costa, working at ILM now, started as a banker, worked there for a long time, started getting into CG, and then just exploded. Fantastic human being, fantastic artist, and he is going to be doing a master class. So you're going to be learning from him directly. That's sculpting, texturing, that's rendering, that's things like ZBrush, V-Ray, a whole bunch of stuff, okay? And we're going to be working with Chris to really turn that out and make sure that you are learning everything that he has to offer and that you are also practicing and working and creating artwork in that class. Don't forget Danny Williams. Danny Williams' class had the most enrollment of any class at Visualarium ever. So Danny Williams is coming again sometime in September, and that class is going to be just an amazing, amazing turnout, amazing class, okay? We're all about designing characters for animated films. And Danny, you'll know, is the founder of Lunch Crunch. So it's all about designing quickly, getting it done, but getting it done in control so that you're sculpting fluently you're learning a language that you're able to kind of talk through so you're sculpting at the speed of thought really that's going to be a wonderful class and then anatomy r4 okay that's my class the anatomy class all zbrush the best way 
to learn anatomy. Just focus on that. Okay, and then we're going to be throwing in some animal anatomy. We're going to be throwing in some creature anatomy. Okay, you're going to get over 70 hours of training in anatomy R4. And that's coming up really soon. So check out all the classes. Look forward to seeing you in them. And uh, good luck with your sculpting.